Hello, hello, hello. Happy day one of Vlogtober. Hey y'all, it's me, T, Wine and Time with T. I am T, as I just stated. Um, welcome to Vlogtober. What is Vlogtober? Why am I doing Vlogtober? Oh, I cannot believe I have decided to do this. Look at this oily thing on my forehead. My forehead is so oily today. Just in this one little baby spot. Might be just shine. Because I'm a star. Um, okay, Vlogtober. I've heard about it several times here on YouTube. I've seen several Vlogtober videos. Um, I first heard about it actually a couple of years ago. And I heard about Vlogtober by way of Vlogmas. So what is it? It's just you post something every day for the month of October. You post a, a vlog. The, the length of time doesn't matter. The activity doesn't matter. I am hoping that mine are kind of fall centric, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what Vlogtober is. Vlogmas is the same thing. You post something every day during the, the month of December because Christmas vlogmas christmas so um yeah hey y'all welcome to vlogtober um as you can see behind me are my fall decor so welcome 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 to all of the newbies welcome 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 back home to all of you who have been here um i am a small youtuber i am having fun doing it i started doing the pandemic during the pandemic and i started basically by doing sample sundays my channel used to be called sample sundays with tea and that was every sunday i would do a wine um and review it and then it got to the place where i was doing cigars and wines and um on saturdays my husband and i we used to do um cocktails and i can't remember the name of it but it was every saturday we would do four cocktails every saturday so then on some of my, my days during the pandemic, I was recording just a little cocktail here or there or whatever. Um, but then I was like, you know what? My life is not just about cocktails and wine. I hope this light is okay. I'm trying something new here with this light. I hope I don't end up turning it off. Oh yeah, I just brightened it. I hope that's not, that doesn't look weird. Um, it does kind of look kind of weird to me. Like I was saying, um, it got to the point where in my mind, I'm like, but everybody doesn't drink wine. Everybody doesn't smoke cigars. Everybody doesn't like cocktails. Some people like mocktails. And I have a couple of episodes or videos up here where I have made mocktails. Um, I had, I think maybe one or two where I made mocktails with my nieces. Um, so I was like, you know, why not just try vlogging about life? And so that's what I'm doing. I am incorporating my, you know, my entire, well, not entire life. I'm, I'm, I'm incorporating parts of my life here on YouTube. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping that there will be some things that I do or recipes that I share or places I go that may either pique the interest of someone or someone who's had questions about who I wonder about whatever, whatever, whatever. And then they happen upon my video and they're like, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. I want to be that like little light bulb that goes off for someone who may have a question about something or somebody who's just looking for some light, fun entertainment. Because over here, honey, take your shoes off, get you a drink, get you something to eat, get you a cigar, have a seat and let's have fun, okay? Let's talk about it. And let's chit chat and all that. Ooh, bars. Anywho, I'm not a poet. I don't rap either. Um, I only rap, you know, with the radio. But anyway, um, so it's all I, it's a very light-hearted channel over here. I don't really have much serious stuff. Um, yeah. But anywho. Blocktober, here we are. So today is day one and I have all of the things out. Um, my goal in my head was to actually decorate for day one, but then I was like, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Cause I feel like I don't even know if I need to get anything else. <clears throat> what I did was I pulled out, I wore these earrings the other day and I think it irritated my ear. 
And yes, I threw them in the trash because when I took them off, my ears were sore. They needed to go. Um, but so what I did was I took out everything that I have. And I don't know if you'll be able to see everything. I'm going to try to adjust this, this tripod a little bit so that y'all can see. Um, I took everything out that I have and I have done a little bit of shopping. Um, I have a little bit more to do, I think. Um before I'm completely ready to start decorating. So decorating may happen like on day six or seven, somewhere around there. Um, I know the dog that's just like almost into the end of the first week of October. So I kind of don't want to wait that long. I might try to get it done tomorrow. That's a strong might. But anywho, focus girl focus so i um like i said i pulled out everything that i have um and i, I there's only a couple things that i know for sure that i need let me flip the camera around and show y'all what i have all right so if you look over here in this corner i have most of my pumpkins well that's actually i think all of my pumpkins so i have all of my pumpkins here um and i want my colors to start gearing more towards the blues and the silvers and even the little glass pumpkin right there i love that one so as you can see i have most of the traditional that little white pumpkin there right there that's a hand soap um dispenser so as you can see most of my fall stuff is the traditional um are the traditional colors of the greens the golds the maroons um, we have, you know, the apples, we're going to go apple picking. Um, that's like a little vase that I normally sit by the fireplace with my little scarecrow. I, look, I put makeup on her face. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of tanned her up a little bit. Um, but these are just flower picks that are in here. And, you know, I got from Dollar Tree and Michael's and put it in a vase. I'm not sure if I'm going to even sit that by the fireplace this year or where I'm going to do it. Those two little things, they hang outside. Um, cornucopia is normally on the kitchen counter. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it this year. I got plenty of extra flower picks here. Um, I'm going to figure out something to do with them. I might actually put these on my kitchen table. No, these are the ones that go outside because I, I also decorate outside. So I need to, I might need to go get some more flower picks because I want to put some on the kitchen table and outside. But then I'm thinking I might want to do fresh flowers. Um, Let's see. This is an old candle holder that I got from Home Interior, I think. Did I get this thing from Home Interior? I don't know where I got it from. But anyway, it's a very old um, candle holder that I have. And as you can see, it's that brown color. It's dusty. It needs to be cleaned. But I'm thinking about spray painting that silver to go with the pumpkins. Um, there's my fall wreath that's going to go on the doors. And they're so pretty. My friend Jennifer Bailey made it. These are just some garlands that I normally put on the front porch railing, which I probably won't do this year. We have a garland of leaves that goes on the fireplace mantle. The little grateful pillow. Oh, grateful, grateful, grateful. That grateful pillar, pillar, pillow goes on my sofa. Two more sofa pillar pillows. And what I want to do, I want to find um, a pillowcase that has either a pumpkin this color in it or even a solid pillowcase. Because I feel like I need two more pillows on the sofa because we have that big um, sectional and I want to eat up some of that space. These are my pillow covers that go on the front porch and back porch. I don't know why they thought that was smart to do it that way. Like, I don't know. But it is what it is. I bought it because it said, hello, fall. Um, this one says, hello, autumn. Then we have pumpkin and happy harvest. That light writing, I don't know why they did that. But it is what it is, like I said. All right, so my kitchen is going to be that blue and brownish color, if you will. So I um, think I picked up a couple more towels that are similar to this. 
um, or either have that blue in them. I got to look back in the bag in my little um, harvest haul that I did. These are two of the ugliest, cutest placemats <laughs> that I have. Um, that's our babies. Um, I got them from Dollar Tree. I had them on the bar last year, but I'm not really sure if I want to use them on the bar this year because I forgot that I had these. And they actually go with my towel colors, color scheme. So I don't know if I'm going to use these this year. I'll have to think about that. Uh, over here are my throws that go on the sofa. Um, I have three, two patterns and one solid because the blue is in here. And there's blue in that one. And then this is just a bunch of extra stuff that I may or may not use. Oh, and oh, I forgot my rugs for the front porch. So I have my welcome mat and then I went with the black and white theme on the front porch last year. So I'm going to do that again. And our yard flag that says happy fall. So again, that's going to be a decorating day for um, Vlogtober. I'm, I really want to do it tomorrow, but that would require a lot. Like I need to, I got a power wash the porch off. Now listen, I'm not going deep, deep into the power washing, but I want to just power wash the porch off, um, sweep it real good. And I need to go pick up some mums. So I probably won't decorate tomorrow now that I think about it because I want to do all of the outside at one time. I want to go get the mums. I want to get the yard together the front porch together and do all the decorating. So I want to do all of that at one time. So I think, yeah, that's going to be a, a whole different day. That'll be, oh, that'll, that'll be a good Vlogtober day because I'll get to take you guys with me to pick up the moms. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, from every video that I've watched or every person that I've watched, um, during Vlogtober and Vlogmas, the day the videos aren't super long. One lady, her videos were like 10 minutes and I was concerned or nervous rather because I was like, well, I don't have that much to talk about if I'm doing daily vlogs, but I'm going to be all right. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys stick with me throughout this test of um, consistency and loading something different every day. I hope to bring you fun filled activities to give you some ideas of some things you may want to do by yourself or with your family. Um, but yeah, once again, welcome to Vlogtober day one. And um, remember to like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, drop down in the comments and let me know if there's something that you have questions about or there's something that I should try. There's a recipe I should try for fall. If you want to share a fall cocktail or share a fall recipe or a fall activity, if there's anything you want to share with me, I totally appreciate it. That way to give me, you know, that may give me an additional day that I can add on that I may not have thought of. So I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.